right now. I'd like to introduce to you two special young people, Simone Baptiste and Antonio Cabal Jackson. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and distinguished guests. Welcome to the Starlight Gala. My name is Simone Baptiste, and I am a current junior at the Athenian School and a lifelong member of Oakland, California. It is a pleasure and honor to briefly speak with you tonight about the different activities and programs that Galaxy Explorers have, including teams like Peer-to-Peer -peer Planetarium and the Digital Sky Student Partnership, both of which I am currently a part of. Proudly, I have been a part of this community since the age of five when I attended science camp um, for cooking and I learned how to make ice cream using just dried ice. It was very yummy. Those days passed quickly, and I soon found myself emerged in the deeper aspects of science and how the pieces of our universe fit together to solve mysteries. Little did I know that my experience at Chabot Space and Science would lead me to travel to the Hong Kong Space Museum this summer as a member of the peer-to-peer -peer Digital Sky Student Partnership. During this adventure, I had an opportunity to meet and interact with students from across the world who share similar passions and interests as I. The crux of the partnership was to compare similarities and differences in our night skies. However, I gained so much more than just learning about the stars in our universe. I developed lifelong friendships extensive new skills with technology, and personal growth and development. My experience with Galaxy Explorers has been truly beneficial and applicable to my life and activities beyond um, the museum. For instance, the knowledge that I acquire when I'm showing demonstrations to the public, I can use in my physics class, biology classes, and chemistry classes. In addition, Galaxy Explorers has given me a door opener to the field that I will carry out in my future. Due to my love for life sciences, I would like to extend my passion in biology, study at the University of Stanford, and become a doctor. With the preparation that the Galaxy Explorers has given me today, I hope to see many of you in my waiting room, my future waiting room. <laughs> who work closely with the youth. Um, Alex, Lisa Hoover, um, Autumn, she works with Champions of Science, uh, Leah College, Etta, Melissa, and the entire Shibo faculty and staff who really support us. In addition, I would like to give a special thanks to each of you for supporting the wonderful things that occur at this institution. I applaud each of you in this room and countless others who inspire me to start by starting, do by doing, so that I and others can see our dreams become our realities. Thank you again so much and enjoy the rest of your night. And now my peer, Antonio, will like to come up and also say a few words. Hello, my name is Antonio Calvo Jackson, and I am a ninth grader at Oakland Tech High School. <laughs> I've been in the Chabot Youth Program for three years, and I am an aspiring musician, karate master, sailor, and future scientist. <laughs> My first memory of Chabot was when I was in the fourth grade, which was dinner with the scientists. I remember learning about pHs, acids, and bases, 
this is and how the new Bay Bridge was going to be built. <laughs> I also remember being told that my name, along with all the names of the other people at the dinner with the scientists, was going to be put into a microchip that was going onto the Curiosity Mars rover. This is the spark into my scientific fire. When I was in the sixth grade at Edna Brewer Middle School, I heard about the Champions of Science program. I applied and got in. On the first day, we went to the planetarium and saw tales of the Maya skies. Afterwards, we drank Mayan hot chocolate, which might be a little deceiving, which I didn't like that much. <laughs> we also tasted different types of chocolate with different amounts of cocoa in it. I liked the lower ones, and didn't really like the ones with that much cocoa in it. Throughout three years, I've done many things with Chavo's youth program, including going into space with the Mars, with the Challenger mission, making s'mores in my own solar oven, sending a spacecraft into the stratosphere, and learning the insides of squid. During the summer, I was able to participate in the Mars mission summer camp offered at Chavo. We got to go into the Challenger simulator spacecraft and travel to Mars. After a few days of preparation, we went on a long two-year trip. My job was the navigator, which meant I was wanted to make sure everything was ready before we could leave. During our mission, we almost died because of the solar flare hitting our shuttle. We lost power for a few minutes and crowded in the probe room. This caused many instruments to go offline, which we had to fix later. Throughout, uh, when then when we thought nothing could get worse, we found out that our ship did not leave. In 15 minutes, we'd be stuck for another two years. <laughs> My team and I quickly prepared our ship to lift off. After a gruesome seven-month voyage, we landed back on Earth, where we, greeted, or where we were greeted by a load of Chabot staff, parents, and had a press conference to tell our story. At another Chabot space camp, we learned, uh, or we launched a weather balloon rocket into the stratosphere. We built the craft, tested the gear, and finally got to launch it. I kept a personal memento for the occasion. I put an Oaklandish sticker on the outside of the craft, which I still have to this day. We wanted to represent our city with the sticker. After it was launched, we were able to track it using a GPS device. After about 10 minutes, we had a blackout, or the signal had a blackout because it flew over the satellites. It, when it started coming down, it was coming down fast at about speeds to 50 miles per hour. Eventually, it landed in Rio Vista over 50 miles away. Now I've graduated into the, from the Champions program into the Galaxy Explorers. I've gone through many training sessions and started teaching demos to the public. My favorite demo is the Solar Viewer demo. This allows the public, and a few GEs, to look directly at the sun. We have used these before during a baseball game when there was a solar eclipse. There was a line of teammates and their parents who wanted to use it in order to see it too. I think I will join Astro Club, where I can teach the public and learn more about, for myself about the night sky. Chabot has helped me in ways I can't even imagine. It, was giving, it has given me gen a great experience and taught me so much about science. Ever since I joined, I have become more confident in my public speaking. Chabot has become a home away from home for me. I, hope I, I soon hope I can become an intern here where I will have even more great scientific discoveries. I don't know what my profession will be when I grow up, but I know it will be something to do with science. Who knows what I might, I, who knows what I might go to Mars for real? No.